for another weekday morning prayer with Santa's Youth Ministry. My name is Ruth and today we're going to do something a little bit different in, um, in that I'm actually going to start by telling you a story. Um, this story comes from a treasury of saints and um, I tell this story in, um, in remembrance or um, in memorial of St George whose feast day it is today. Um, I find St. George a fascinating saint because we um, we have this legend which I'm going to tell you about him, but none of it can be proven. Um, I don't know about you, but um, there is absolutely no proof that dragons exist. But I think there is a lot in this legend that we can learn from. So I let us all begin um, before I read the story with the sign of the cross. So in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once upon a time, there lived a huge and terrible dragon. Its home was in a large lake near a distant city. Whenever it was hungry, it would come out of the lake and seize any sheep it could find in the area and greedily eat them up before lumbering back into the lake. The people tried attacking the dragon, but it simply snorted fire from its giant nostrils, driving them back in terror and filling the air with its deadly polluting breath. Many of the people became ill and died from the pollution alone. Because of this, the city was always gloomy and sad. Finally, the people went to their king and asked, what can we do? Soon we'll all have perished because of that dragon. If we, if we sacrifice one of our daughters down by the lake each day, that would at least keep it away from the city, suggested the king. We could draw lots to see who is to be sacrificed each day. Sensing that the crowd wasn't too keen on the idea, the king added, although I've only got one daughter, she must take her chance as well. Nobody had a better idea, so they decided to follow the king's advice. Every day a family gave up one of their daughters to be a meal for the dragon. Before long, it fell to the royal family to sacrifice their daughter Cleo de Linda. Cleo de Linda. That'll do. As she was led out, the king watched her go with tears in his eyes. She stood on the shore of the lake, sobbing bitterly. But as she did so, who should ride up on a white horse but a handsome young man, dressed in a Roman officer's uniform? What's the matter? he asked. Kind sir, whoever you are, replied Cleo de Cleo Delinda. Right away from here. My name is George, said the man, and I won't leave until you tell me why you are here. So she told him about the dragon. Just as she finished her story, with a roar and with its usual amount of splashing, the dragon emerged from the lake. George made the sign of the cross on himself and said the words in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Then he charged on his horse at the dragon. He thrust his spear with all his strength into its throat, pinned the animal to the earth, and his horse then trampled the dragon under its feet. Once it was docile, George ordered Cleo to tie the white belt she was wearing around the dragon's neck and led it into the city like a dog on a leash. Nervously, she did. When they saw this extraordinary procession, the people were astonished and afraid. Don't be afraid, but trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, said George, for it was he who sent me to you to save you from the dragon. Then he killed the dragon. The people dragged the carcass out of the city and burned it. 15,000 of them became Christian. So the story is more than just a nice story, um, although it is a legend, um, not necessarily proven. Um, the story gives us some really um, good lessons about standing up for others who who can't stand up for themselves, and and going into battle with with Jesus or with God at our side. Um, and so um, we finish this time of prayer. <clears throat> God, 
<clears throat> the legend of St. George teaches us to stand up and fight against dragons in our lives and to come to the aid of those unable to fight on their own. We pray for the courage to stand up for what we believe and where we see others needing us, give us the compassion to help them. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And before we finish up, um, I'd like to invite you again to join me in journaling. Um, the journal prompt today um, is titled Fighting Battles. I thought that was fitting. Um, so I will be writing about who uh, the people in my life who I turn to um, to help me fight my battles, my mum being one of them, um, but also on another level I turn to God to help me my, fight my battles. But I'm going to be focusing on the people in my life who help me fight my battles and who have I helped or who could I help fight their battles especially at this time maybe there's some people who are fighting battles that we could help out with so I'm going to spend five ten minutes journaling on that today um, and I invite you to do the same um, before I wrap up just because I find St George such a really fascinating character I just thought I'd give you a few little interesting bits of information the St George's cross which is named after St George it's part of the shield um, the um, heraldic shield that they uh, that was created for him in the medieval times is a red cross on a white background not unlike the red cross that might tell us something there about what the red cross's mission is um it's also uh, st george is the patron saint of england so on the 23rd of april every year normally there's major celebrations in england um street festivals and and um and markets and, and celebrations just across the place. Um, but because St George is the patron, um, in the English uh, flag, the British flag, the UK flag, there is a red cross as the basis of it. So jo St George's cross is the basis of not only the UK's flag, but our Australian flag as well, um, in that Union Jack, so the that part of it. Um, the cross, the red cross, is also the symbol used in the Crusades. And the George Cross is one of the highest, I think it's the second highest Medal of Valour that can be awarded in the United Kingdom um, and across the Commonwealth uh, for service um, and bravery and valour. Uh, so I just find St George, fascinating saint. Um, and even though uh, the story we know about him is um, a legend, um, that does not make it any less relevant to us today. So I hope you enjoyed story time this morning and I hope you have a really lovely St George's Day and hopefully we'll see you back here again tomorrow morning. Bye!